Angie from Sunny Side Up Living Blog, and today I'm going to share my recipe for butternut squash soup. It's really easy to make and only takes a handful of ingredients. Let's get cracking. Peeling a butternut squash is no fun, so to make it a little easier, poke some holes all over it and then slice off the ends. Place it in the microwave on a sheet of parchment paper and cook for three and a half to five minutes. Then let it cool a bit before peeling it in a vertical motion. Next, slice the squash down the middle vertically so it looks like this. The good thing about butternut squash is that they don't have a ton of seeds. You can easily scoop these out and toss them or save them for roasting just like pumpkin seeds. Now your butternut squash is ready to cut into slices and then cubes. You will need 6 cups of cube squash for this recipe. To make the soup, heat a saucepan or small stock pot over medium heat and add 6 tablespoons of chopped onions, followed by half a stick of unsalted butter. Next, add all of your cube squash and then pour in 3 cups of low sodium chicken broth. For the seasoning, add a half teaspoon of marjoram, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper to add just a little kick. Boil the squash and seasonings for 20 minutes so your squash gets nice and tender. Finally, add a block of low-fat cream cheese. Because this soup is hot, the cream cheese melts in easily with some stirring for a chunky texture. Or you can use a food processor, stand, or immersion blender to get yours nice and creamy, which I did here. Your butternut squash soup is ready to serve up and enjoy. That's it for today. For more simple recipes like this one, hit subscribe.